Happy Friday to you. I hope you're all doing well today, enjoying some of the sunshine and the advent of spring. You know, it's shocking how easy it is for primary things to become secondary things. Some of us chuckle over the things that became primary things a few years ago, things like playing cards and going to movies and dances and wearing certain clothing and so forth. Today we have other things that have become primary when they should be secondary. Michael Horton wrote a book called Christless Christianity. He says this, Here we are as the North American church, Protestant, Catholic, emergent, or otherwise, cranking along just fine, thank you. We're busy becoming culturally relevant, reaching out, drawing in, making disciples, managing the machinery, utilizing biblical principles, celebrating recovery, being user-friendly, techno-savvy, finding the purpose-filled life, practicing peace with justice, utilizing spiritual disciplines, growing in self-esteem, reinventing ourselves as effective ecclesiastical entrepreneurs, and in general, feeling ever so much better about our achievements. Do you notice anything missing in this pretty picture? And the answer is Jesus Christ. We tend to take secondary things and make them primary things. Jesus is the primary one, and we ought to keep him central. Now, on Sunday, God willing, we'll be studying Ephesians chapter 5. And what seems to be primary in that text is not really primary. I'll show you what I mean when we get there, but I'll tell you this. What's primary is not marriage. I'll see you online or in person this coming Sunday. God bless.